there are a lot of really fascinating things. Um, what I will say before we dive into them, simply for anybody listening, is don't get freaked out. <laughs> as long as you just get up and move, most of the stuff gets resolved. So I just I love putting that in because as soon as we get into the science, people hear the sciencey words and they go, "What really?" It's it's okay. <laughs> so at about twenty minutes of sitting, because it starts as early as that, at about twenty minutes of sitting, the gene expression in the muscles starts to go towards muscle breakdown. This does not mean your muscles begin to break down. It simply means your body starts to possibly think about maybe breaking down muscle. That's, mm. that's all where we are. At 30 minutes, now you've got less blood flowing to the brain, which is now obviously going to have a cumulative effect affecting the anxiety and depression. Um, you're not going to be thinking necessarily as clearly. And then you're also actually having um, a reduced ability to metabolize fat for some people by up to wow. 90%, wow. which is huge. Um, yeah. but it's not everybody, not everybody's 90%, but it could be up to that. So as you're sitting there, then you get up to an hour at, at about an hour of sitting straight, uh, for men, you're getting increased stiffness in the low back. So a lot of times when we, oh, we need to move a little bit more that happens then for women, it usually happens at about the two hour mark, anywhere between the one and the two hour mark. Interesting. And the one that really fascinated me, and this is especially important for any business and any workers and employees, and then especially the higher up in management that you go. At an hour and a half, you've got an increased uh, chance of errors, especially for creative tasks, by 50%. Oh, wow. Which also kind of baffles me. And the fix for all of this, by the way, is two minutes of movement. It doesn't, you don't need to go up and run a marathon or, you know, go for half an hour somewhere. Two minutes of movement reverses all of this. Mm. So now, a lot of people might hear that little timeline. Um, and then a lot of this goes further. So if you're the longer you're sitting, obviously it builds on itself. Uh, and they will say, oh, he said 20 minutes. He started at 20 minutes. That means we need to get up every 20 minutes. That's not feasible. Because if we get up every 20 minutes, you're going to completely break up your workflow. You're going to say, this guy's crazy. There's no way this is doable. I'm going to not do this. So if you're sitting usually for two hours or an hour and a half, start at an hour and 15, start at an hour, slowly work your way down. You may not get down to every 30 minutes and that's okay. It's just finding that time to kind of make it work. Mm. But that is what you're, you're fighting that whole time is reduce blood flow uh, to the wow. brain, a little bit of the muscle breakdown. Um, and then, yeah, just the ability to metabolize fat. 